How do you feel about naps? I love naps. I come up with my best ideas during naps. It would be nice if it was mandatory that while at work, everyone took a 15 minute nap. That would be perfect. Everyone loves a good nap, right? And guess what? Some tech companies like Apple, Google, Facebook, and Uber, they're getting attention for actually encouraging employees to nap on the job. Those workers must love that. But here's what I really want to know. Is the trend of napping at work actually good for us? People are so worked up though about like naps being a sign of weakness. Because they are. Is that why? Yeah, there's a reason why. First off, I want to visit a business where taking a nap doesn't put you in the crosshairs with the boss. Just the corner office? <laughs> in, a, in its own way. Yeah. And this is the boss. Stan Richards is the founder of the Richards Advertising Group. At 85, he oversees 750 employees, and he's kind of hard to keep up with. Are you a two at a time guy? I'm a two at a time Oh, then guy. I better go two at a time also. <laughs> Richards just built a gleaming new office tower, and guess what he included? Four rooms dedicated to 30-minute naps. And we've got two of those rooms booked. I brought you something, though. Oh, okay. I just thought when you nap, I don't know, I, this is mine from when I was a little kid, so I'm, pre really? I'm preferential to that one, but <laughs> okay. I think the naps would be better, don't you think? Right, that's fine, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I would say a lot of industries would say the same thing. We got to get our thing done at the end of the day. Well, yes. And that nap gets in the way of getting the thing done. When you take a nap early in the afternoon, that the rest of the day you'll be more productive than you would be otherwise. This is a kind of environment where we trust people to get their work done. And if you dig in, the science on naps is pretty convincing. This widely cited research was done in Greece where afternoon naps are common. It found naps lowered the risk of dying from a heart attack by about one third. And research done in Germany found a 30 minute nap significantly enhances long term memory performance. How do you know it's making a difference? Oh, I just I, I just know for me that that when I when I take a little nap, I am refreshed and I and I go through the rest of the afternoon and never get that feeling of, oh, I'm tired. What's going on inside the brain while we nap? All right. Stacy Harris at Sleep Healers is helping me find out by hooking me up with what feels like about a thousand wires that track my breathing, brain waves, and body movements. If you actually go to sleep, I only expect to see stages one and two. That's why I said if you hit a deep sleep, if you hit REM, you did not get enough sleep last night. Well, I do some hard work over here. Let's check in with Dr. Margaret Mike. She's a neurologist who's board certified in sleep medicine. She says the best kind of nap should last only 20 to 30 minutes. Longer than that, and you'll hit deep sleep and wake up groggy. Are naps good for you? Naps can help supplement if you haven't been able to get enough sleep one night because deadlines, taking care of children, thunderstorms that wake us up, but if we need them every day, then that says, what's the deficiency? Why isn't our nighttime sleep restorative enough? So how's my sleep? Stacy's monitoring me from the other room. The lines on the screen give her a lot of information about the quality of rest that I'm getting. Oh, I think he snored. The breathing was real big. It's just like, and all of a sudden he, where he was, you know, sucking it out. Despite my alleged snore, my sleep study shows in a short amount of time, I was able to get some light sleep. Feels good. But Dr. Mike, still not a big fan of the nap. Should napping be part of a wellness program at work? Or is that not necessary? I think in general, it wouldn't be necessary if they're getting good sleep at home. So there are companies that actually encourage their workers to take naps, and there are medical benefits of taking naps at work. But Dr. Mike says the upside of napping is nothing compared to the downside of chronic sleepiness. If you've got something you want verified, send me an email. 
just don't do it right now. 